Today's lesson is about potential energy and kinetic energy. And we're going to make a model, a race car model, to investigate how we can increase potential energy and hopefully increase kinetic energy. And you're going to make a race car that looks like this. Here's the race car a sample that I made, and it has uh, some fancy stuff on it that you can add later, but mostly it has wheels, axles, and a frame, and mostly it will move by gravity. We're going to spend some time making some measurements, and we're going to test our vehicles, and then we're going to put them through some trials to see how much work they do when we use a force, gravity, to move an object, our car, down the ramp. Okay? So teachers and boys and girls, here's what you need. This follows along in our science book on page 1787, but each student needs a worksheet, a blank sheet of paper, two plastic straws, four lifesaver candy wheels, an index card, and I want to make sure that index card is three by five inches. Centimeter ruler. Uh, we're going to share tape and some scissors. On our second part of the lesson, we'll actually do the ramp and do the worksheet. So this is what you need. All right, to make this race car, it's kind of important that we all follow the same directions because we want to make a car that we can compare with our classmates. And so if I made uh, my car the same way as my neighbor, then we can still investigate the same type of project. See, what we're going to do is change one variable. We're going to change how high the ramp is. So let's get started. You'll need a, your pencil, a 3 by 5 card, and a centimeter ruler. Take a look at this card. There are some red lines and we also have some blue lines. So I want to use our centimeter ruler and starting from the edge on the red line right here, come across two centimeters. Now, you need to know the difference between the inch side and the centimeter side. For me, I always remember a centimeter is about the width of my little finger. And check this out. When you look at a ruler, each ruler is different. This ruler we don't actually start measuring until we get right here. So I'm going to put this on the red line and I'm going to come in two centimeters, try to be accurate, two centimeters and make a dot. Now I'm going to write two centimeters. You don't have, don't write two centimeters, but I'm going to write two centimeters on there. So I came in two centimeters and made a dot right there. Now we're going to come to the bottom of the card in the blue lines. Let's go up one, two, three. So we're going to be working on that blue line right there from the bottom. One, two, three. Now I want to come over two centimeters, using the centimeters again, and make a dot on the blue line. One, two, and there's my dot right there. So now I've made two dots two centimeters in, and I'm going to connect these dots with a straight line. See, this is where our axle is going to go, and so I want this to be as straight as possible. So I've got those two dots lined up. Can you see that? And now I'm going to draw my line right here like this. Okay? Two centimeters in, two centimeters in, and that's on the, three, the third blue line from the bottom, and that's on the red line there. Okay, so we've made that first line. It should be parallel with the end of the card. Let's make another line just like it on the other end of the card. I'm going to come in two centimeters on the red line. Now, you don't always have to start with a, a ruler on the edge. I think I'll start around oh, 18 right here. And if I put it on 18, if I go in two centimeters, there's 17 is one, 16, and I make a dot. See, you don't have to start. I could have started at 16 and came in and ended up at 14. Or I could have started at 21 and came in and ended up at 19. This is 2 centimeters from here to there. 
I want to go to that same line at the bottom, not the bottom, one, two, three, that line there, and do the same thing, two centimeters. I think I'll start at 19 and come in to 17 and make my dot. And once again, I'm going to use my straight edge to draw another line parallel to that line and parallel to the edge. Line up my dots. This is going to be the guide for our axle. Go ahead and make your second line. Now we're going to do something interesting. We've been talking about centimeters, and a centimeter is about the size of my finger, my baby finger. But now we're going to talk about millimeters. In fact, you're going to measure seven millimeters. That's a little bit bigger than half of a centimeter. So if you take a look on this worksheet right here, if a centimeter, one cm, is this long, one millimeter would be like this. There's three, one, two, three, four, five of them, six, seven, eight, nine. So that'd be 10. So there's 10, one millimeters equal one centimeter. You don't need to write that, but so when I look at this here on my centimeter ruler, anywhere I look, here is a centimeter from 13 to 14. These little guys, ding, 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 those are millimeters. And there's five of them because there's takes 10 to get from here to here. There's, so seven of them is going to be these five plus two more. It's not very big. So what I want you to do is come over here and we're going to find seven, you don't need to write this, seven millimeters on this red line. So I'm going to uh, see if I can show you this. Here we go. There is, uh, I'll start at the 15, and I'll lay that right there. Here is one, two, three, four, five. It's a little bit longer, six, seven. And make a dot. Seven millimeters. Seven millimeters. Not very big. You've probably never measured seven millimeters in your life. Well, people that make things, sometimes they divide even smaller. I'm going to do the same thing down here on this blue line. Come in seven millimeters. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make a dot. And of course, I bet you know, once you make those two dots, you're going to connect it with a straight line. And we're trying to make everything straight. See how? This is straight along my ruler, and we're going to draw a line. This is where our, we're going to put our straw. So there is my axle guide. I'll give you a chance to get caught up. Now it's time to come seven millimeters in on the other axle guide. So I'm going to use my ruler to come in seven millimeters and make a dot. Might help if I zoom in so you can see this. Here we go. Lay that right there, and I gotta count seven of these little bitty ticks. Five, seven, and make a dot. And of course, I wanna come down here to the bottom where that blue line is. Come in. Five, six, seven, and make a dot. All right. See, the, the more you make these parallel, the better your car will go. And I'm going to fin finish by drawing my connecting the dots. Here we go. There is the axle, the axle guide. The axle, which is going to be made with the straw, is going to go right here, and it should fit perfectly on those. Should put. Pit, should fit perfectly on those. Let's turn this over and put our name on these. This, this is going to be the bottom of the car. It's going to be the bottom of the car, like right here. And I put my name, and I'm calling this one Science Flash 2. So, so on the back of the car, the bottom, write your name. I'm going to write my name. 
I'm going to call my car Science Flash. And today's date, and I want some fire on mine, so. This thing's going to be so fast, you, you won't be able to see it. I'll have to use a slow motion camera. Science Flash, okay? Put your name on it. Today's date, and if you want to name your car, cool. All right, now we're going to turn this over, and we're going to fold up along the red line. Here's the red line. I'm going to fold it up along the red line. Try to get it straight. Not bad. Crease it, fold it, and crease it. So I fold it up along the red line. And I bet you're already guessing we're going to also fold it up along the blue line, now at the bottom, the third one up, one, two, three. I want these to be about even folds. There we go. This is going to be the frame of our car. It's going to be the frame, check it out. This thing is ready to take off already. I'm talking science fast with the science flash. Got it? I'll let you catch up. Okay, we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut a small little tab right here. I'm going to take my scissors and cut from here down to the fold. I can just fold that piece down. See how I did that? Okay, there's one. We're going to do this to all four of them. I'm going to cut right here, not all the way across, just down to the fold. So the kids that are paying attention, okay, there we go, just down to the fold. See that? There's two of them. Okay. Turn it over or around and do the next two. Cut it and fold it in the middle. I want to make sure you cut it all the way so it folds down nice. Check it out. You've made an axle guide and now a place for your axle to stay. And fold it down. Some of you guys, this may be the first time you've made something like this following directions, but I'm telling you there's a whole world of model making out there. I like making uh, model rockets, model cars, and I love making model airplanes with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Uh, you might want to look up the Academy of Model Aeronautics sometime and you see some of the cool things that uh, they can make. So I've got my uh, car ready for our next step. We're going to need our straws now. now Pay attention to this part because we, our straws have a section that bends. We don't need that part for our axle. We want the straight part, okay? So the part that bends, we do not need, all right? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to make this 13 centimeters long. So I'm going to come down here and lay my ruler along. And at 13 centimeters, which is right about there, I'm going to cut it, okay? I'm going to cut it at 13 centimeters. Let's see how well I did. Oh, pretty good. There's 13 right there. 13 centimeters. So cut your two straws so that they are 13 centimeters long. You might want to save these extra pieces later for accessorizing your race car. In this next part of the instruction, I'm going to take four small pieces of tape, maybe about three centimeters each, masking tape, and I'm going to get those four pieces of tape ready because I'm going to attach my axles, two axles, to my frame. And so I've folded down, you can see how I folded down the tabs right here. And I'm going to put one of these axles right about here. And it's good to kind of balance it, get it in the middle. And I'm going to, what I want to do is I'm going to tape this close to 
I had something, but I'm going to tape it right about here. See how I got that? I'm going to tape it right about here. There's one of my pieces of tape. And so I taped it close to the edge right here. See that? Okay. And it should fit just perfectly in the groove. Now, look, I made a mistake. This side's sticking out too long. So I'm going to push this. I'm going to undo that if I can and push this in a little bit. I didn't do it such a good job. See how that one's longer? I should have been paying attention more. And try to get them even. Really, want it's better if you get them even. There we go. That's There we go. That's about right. Okay, I'll tape that back down. Now they're even on both sides. Okay, one piece of tape and my second piece of tape right here. And I got my axle on the front. Boy, this thing seems like it wants to take off already. Mm -hmm. There's my axle. I'm going to put my second axle here. Make sure they're about, get them about even. I'm going to move that one over a little bit. I already got my tape ready. Now remember, the lines are up on the top and the bottom is still like that. That's the bottom. Okay. And my last piece of tape is right here. Boy, this car is ready to take off. Look at that. Two axles that are parallel attached to the frame of my ramp car racer. All right, now comes the fun part, adding the wheels. Simple machine, a wheel, and the wheels we're going to use are lifesavers. Now, I have one rule, don't lick your wheels. <laughs> I'll know if you lick your wheels. They'll make them sticky and you'll, uh, they'll have more friction. They may not work. I'm going to go ahead and attach all four of my wheels. I'd like you to watch carefully, then attach yours. This wheel, Lifesaver wheel, I like the Lifesaver uh, mints because, first of all, they're more dense and they stick together pretty well. And they have a smooth, smooth section right here. All right, they also have the word Lifesaver on them, and the word Lifesaver may be um, bumpy, so I'm going to put that on the outside of my wheel. So I'm going to put this on here like this and slide it on with the word lifesaver on the outside so it's smooth against this part right here and it spins freely if you see that it spins pretty good now if your wheels cracked uh, or not around to tell your teacher I took a small piece of tape here and I'm going to use this as a lug now this is this part's pretty critical I don't want to do it too tight otherwise it won't spin and I don't want it too wobbly because it might not do exactly what I want. So I'm going to move it about a gap about that big. See the gap right there? This gap right in here? I'm going to fold this back and make a little flag, kind of a flag right here. Okay? So if you see that, look, see the flag? And it's not touching the ground, but now my wheel is stuck on this. It's like a lug. So I call that a lug nut. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to open up another wheel, put the letters on the outside, slide it on the axle. This thing is ready to take off. Got to put a piece of tape as a little flag or lug nut. Keep that gap about the same, not too tight and not way out here. Put it right about, see the little gap? You can see a gap in there. There's the gap I'm talking about. Fold that back and it spins. We'll cut these off a little bit later. Perfect. Well, I got my back wheels. Some of you are probably saying, boy, I can do that. You know, I never thought it would be kind of cool we could cut a hole and make a, <laughs> a tricycle, but we're not. We're going to make a four-wheeled bike. Here's my third wheel. Put it on. Piece of tape as a lug nut. Keep the same gap, not way out here, not too close. This is where the kids uh, have had a little bit of difficulty, making the gap too small. 
Okay, look, that's that's pretty good. But see, it wobbles a bit. I don't know if I, I may have made that one just a little bit too big. We'll see. My last wheel. Remember, I'm putting the, uh, if you want your car to go the fastest, put the Lifesaver logo on the outside. Piece of tape as your lug. Boy, I tell you, my car is ready to take off. Science Flash 2 is ready to roll onto the scene. Okay, I'm seeing some sticking. I'm looking for problems. I don't see any. Go ahead. Get your wheels on. Okay, we're getting close to having a finished car. We have a frame, axles, and wheels. But uh, these, I don't like how long the, the lug nuts are and how long the axles are. So it's time now to trim these. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut mine off because we don't need them to be this long, just extra weight. I'm going to cut them off about like that and cut part of that flag off. So now i got just this little part that will hold on. No trouble at all. I might save that part. I could add that to my car later. I'm going to cut this one off right here. Okay. See, I just leave a little, little, leave a little bit of that on. My wheels still spin. This one is pretty long. I'm going to cut it off. So go ahead and trim off the parts you don't need. Okay. Make sure that your wheel stays on. And here's my last one. I'm going to cut this one right about here. That's what I'm a little worried about because I made that wheel a little wobbly right there. Okay, I've cut it off. I have all four of my wheels trimmed, the axles trimmed. And it should be able to move now in a straight line. Okay, let's make the body for our race car. Take a corner, start to roll it up. Make your cone for the body of your car. You'll need two pieces of tape. So I made a cone. Probably it'd be better if I had the tape ready ahead of time. Here's my first piece of tape. I'm going to tape on that little tab right there. And now my cone will stay, it should keep its shape. I'm going to take another piece of tape and put it about halfway back. Okay, go ahead and make the cone for your body. This body is really too long for our car, so I'm going to cut it off uh, at the front and the back. So I'll start by cutting off, I only need about that much of it. Okay, and I'm going to cut it off about right about here. And it's okay if it gets squeezed down a little bit because we don't want it completely round. So I had a chance to cut off the front and the back because I want this to fit on my chassis right here like this. So you can experiment of how long you want it. Okay, and this would be a good time if you wanted to uh, tape on some uh, other pieces. This is the body of your car. So I don't know if you want to tape on some things to make it better or maybe makes it worse. I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. And now when you tape this on to your body, be careful and don't overdo it. There's a couple ways you can tape it. You can tape it from the back like this a piece here, but you don't want to bend, you want to keep everything nice and flat because you don't want to pull your wheels up. Now I pulled my wheel, let's see, you don't want to do anything to mess up your, your car wheels, okay, 
There's that part. I might put a small piece of tape on the front. You can also tape it from the side like this. A piece here, over to the side. I might put another piece here, over to the side. And now my car is ready to go. It's got my name on it, and it's ready to go. Take a few minutes to finish the body of your car. So we have a body, a frame, wheels, and axle. And I'm going to show you where we're going to use these. So go ahead, take your time, finish the body of your car. All right. Okay, in our next part of this lesson, you're going to use the you're going to use the cars you've made on two different ramps. One is 60 centimeters tall, and the other one is 30 centimeters tall. And we're going to do some trials to see how well our cars do. First on the 30, 3, 2, 1, potential energy turns into kinetic energy. And then we're going to measure that, how far it moves. 3, 2, 1, potential energy turns into kinetic energy. And that will be the second part of this lesson. And now it's time for us to test it with a hypothesis. And I suggest that we divide the class into a section like this. You see, everybody is going to use their worksheet, ramp height A and ramp height B. We have two ramps we're going to work with. Ramp height A is 30 centimeters. Ramp height B is 60 centimeters. Double the height. And so you're going to do three trials, one, two, three, at this height, measuring how far it goes each time, and three trials at this height, one, two, three. And later you might, with your teacher, find the average that's been traveled each time. And I also want you to measure how far your car goes. And we're going to do that. Uh, that's called work. When you use, in science, it's called work. When you use a force, gravity, to move an object, your car, a distance. So we do work when we use a force to move an object a distance. So, so you know what I'm talking about. Here is your ramp. And the ramp has a guide down the middle of it. It kind of looks like this. That keeps the car in the middle. And if this ramp right here, let's make it like this. When this car, we start our car right here at the top. It's going to go down because it has now, it has potential energy here. And when we let go of it, it's going to start moving down and it's going to have kinetic energy on its way down because of the pull of gravity. And what's going to happen when it gets down here, you're going to measure the car is going to go and keep going and come to a rest somewhere over here. You're going to measure with the measuring tape from here, from A to here, B. You're going to measure from A to B in centimeters. How many centimeters is it from A to B? And you're going to put that measurement on your worksheet right here. And I have the word meters here, so I'm going to write the word CM, 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 centimeters, centimeters, centimeters. So that's what we're going to measure from, from the bottom of the ramp to the front of the car. This measurement between A and B you'll record on your data sheet. Got it? Okay, you'll do three, three trials at height A, which is 30 centimeters, three tiles at a height B, which is 60 centimeters. And teachers, I'd like you to discuss the hypothesis. If we double the height, will we double 
the length or the work done. Now, as you're also, while well, half the class is doing that, I would like everyone to write a report that starts like this. Title, Ramp Car Racer. A drawing goes right here. And on the back of your worksheet are three paragraphs with a paragraph starter. I built a model car to explore potential and kinetic energy. I investigated how changing the height of a ramp will affect the distance my car travels. I used two ramps that had different potential energy. Here's where you add two or three sentences of your own to this paragraph. Indent your second paragraph. My car made three trial runs down the 30 centimeter ramp. I recorded my results for each trial. I repeated three trials on the 60 centimeter ramp. Then you'll add two or three sentences of your own. Your final paragraph starts with, today I learned. Now, Roxana at another school was good enough to show me her ramp car racer, her first paragraph, her drawing where she labeled the wheels, the body, and the axle, her second paragraph where she talked about the trial runs, and her third paragraph, today I learned. Let's get started doing your experiment, both your three trials on the 30 ramp and your three trials on the 60, while everybody is starting your report. And it's going to look like this. This is Haley Scott and the Crusher. Three hundred and eighty-two centimeters. And I had a chance to record some of my results on mine. So what I have here is a listing of my data and my data came out you know pretty good and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about on mine on my ramp A I had 46 centimeters 60 centimeters and then 70 centimeters on my ramp B I had 85 centimeters 201 centimeters and 190 centimeters so what I want you to do when you're finished with your data collection is to use this graph at the bottom to graph these out. So let me show you, each one of these lines is 10 centimeters. So my trial A1 was 46, so 10, 20, 30, 46 centimeters. I'm going to go ahead and write 46 centimeters above that. All right, my trial B I'm sorry, my trial uh, A2 was 60 centimeters. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 centimeters. And my trial C, the third one, A, I'm sorry, A3 was 70 centimeters, which is up to here. So those are my three trials. And I can even use some color to show these off a little bit better so you can see them. You'll be able to use this data as you try to answer your hypothesis. Now, when I doubled the height, I got a lot bigger. B1 went 85, so that is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85 centimeters long. B2 went 201 centimeters. So that's all the way up here, 201 centimeters. And my last trial, trial B3, went 190 centimeters, which is right to here. So I'm going to label this 190 centimeter, and I'm going to go ahead and use my marker just so I can see these a little bit better. And I had quite a bit more work done when I increased the potential energy. So these numbers here came from the numbers up here, just like these numbers here came from the numbers here. And my data helps support 
my hypothesis that when we increase the potential energy, we increase the amount of work done. Good luck on your ramp car racers. And remember, the higher you are, the farther it might go. I'll see you next time.